Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today's video is one that was highly requested and it is for the wind noise with the LFD crossbars. So I was tossing around multiple ways to do this uh, video, whether it be have a microphone right up there in the middle, whether I move the bars around to try to limit the uh, sound for y'all. But I came up and, and it is the easiest way, but to me it's the most practical way. So I put my camcorder phone thing uh, right in front of me. Why? Because this is where the driver is. Uh, so if you're gonna hear it, you're gonna hear it right here. I took it all out of its case. I have as much coming to the microphones as possible. Uh, I did order a microphone uh, for my camera gear setup. Uh, that's a different thing, but I did it for better audio for you all. But the fact that we're in the car, the acoustics in here are actually really, really good. So we're just gonna roll with it how it is. This is kind of a part one video. Uh, in, this, in the essence that I'm, I'm leaving the racks as is. Uh, you may order two of them, and if you order two of them, I highly recommend that you just put them uh, where it says limited wind noise, put crossbars here. Like in the stock forerunner spot to put the crossbars, put them there. So if you order two of them, highly recommend that. But I have four on top of my vehicle, and if I was to move them to where Toyota says, hey, put the crossbars right here, it would look weird with four of them. So mainly where I'm getting most of my noise is like right here above the light. And right here above the light is where the first crossbar starts. So they do have their own wind deflectors, uh, which I may end up installing, but I think I'm just gonna kind of move them around a little bit uh, and see what the best, like wind noise wise with four crossbars. But anyway, sorry for rambling. About 40 miles an hour, this is 40 miles an hour right now. All I hear is just the tires. Uh, it really starts to pick up at about 45 to 50 miles an hour, and uh, 70 miles an hour you can decently hear it. Now it's not like, it's not obnoxious, it just has like this mild just kind of, just hum to it. Uh, I never had stock crossbars, so I don't know if that's the normal sound. I've never had anything on top of the Forerunner, so I don't know if that's the normal sound to have something up there, I, I, I don't know. But I'm gonna get up to freeway speeds here uh, in a minute uh, and I will show you guys kinda how loud it is. It's not terrible. That's 60. It's not really bad going this route. I'm gonna cut to another clip, uh, basically going down the island, and uh, it's winds on both sides of me, and uh, it's a it's it's noisier there. So through the city and stuff, where you have the wind being blocked, it's not really that bad. But uh, if you're like on open flat ground, you know, like if you're in the middle of the desert, like on the the 10 freeway or something like that, or, or going up to Vegas, whatever, you know, if you're just on an open freeway somewhere then uh, it's gonna be a little louder. So I'm gonna cut to that clip. All right guys, I'm now going the way that I was talking about uh, earlier. I'm at 60 miles an hour now. Uh, sorry if the camera quality is bad. It, it's not like it matters. We're here for the sound right now, but I'm at 60. And as you can hear, it's a little more pronounced on this road for sure. Now that's 70. It's, uh, it's actually really starting to hum right now. Uh, it's stormy, so uh, it is windy outside itself. But uh, that's kind of how it sounds every now and then. Uh, but right now it's very consistent actually. basically have you guys where the driver sits. I'm still going 70. So yeah, it is, it's definitely noticeable, 100%. I mean, you're modifying your vehicle, the rails are raised up a little higher, but if you already have a lot of gear and stuff up there, you wanna put a lot, a lot of gear on top of your roof rail anyways, I mean, you're gonna have wind noise no matter what, so. 
yeah guys, and that's basically how loud it is. It's not terrible, it's not amazing, but you're putting stuff on top of your vehicle that wasn't meant to be there. Uh, I have four of them, so maybe louder, you know, like I said, if you only got two of them. So I'm gonna mess around with it, make a part two to this uh, for y'all. But if you're looking to get four, there is wind noise, but moving it around a little bit may help. Uh, if you want to get three, you could probably put it back to the Toyota factory points, basically. So if this video was helpful. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.